Hello, in this video we're going to be taking a look at multiplying and dividing complex numbers uh, and we'll also look at the complex conjugate too. Um, so I'll timestamp below the different parts of the video so you can just skip through to the part that you want to see. So let's start off with multiplying. So say we've got two complex numbers, z1 and z2, and we want to find out what happens when we multiply them together. So z1 multiplied by z2. So that's going to be equal to, well, 2 plus 3i, that's my z1, multiplied by 4 plus 6i, which is my z2. Okay. Now, unlike when we add and subtract complex numbers, when we multiply, we don't just multiply the real parts and then the imaginary parts. We have to multiply every term by every other term, okay? Almost like when we're expanding algebraic brackets. And so when we do this, we're going to get 2 multiplied by 4, which is going to give us 8. And then 2 multiplied by 6i, which is going to give us, well, plus 12i. And then we're going to do the same, but with the other term. So we're going to do 3i multiplied by 4, which is plus 12i. And then 3i multiplied by 6i. And this uh, part here is the part that people usually get a bit confused with. So I'll show you every single step. So we're doing 3i multiplied by 6i. So that's going to give me 18i squared. And i squared is just equal to negative 1. Okay, so we've got 18 multiplied by negative 1. So let's simplify this here. So we've got 8 subtract 18 plus 12i plus 12i, which is 24i. And so this is the same as negative 10 plus 24i. And that is our answer. And so when you multiply complex numbers, that's pretty much it. Yeah, pretty easy. So now before we look at division, we need to look at something called the complex conjugate. Okay, and so say we've got a general complex number z, which is of the form a plus bi. Then it's conjugate, which we write like this, z star, or sometimes you'll see it as z bar, that's equal to a minus bi, okay? So say we have a complex number z that's equal to four uh, minus two i, then it's conjugate is gonna be equal to z star, okay? Which is gonna be equal to four plus two i. So the, all you're doing is just swapping the sign of the imaginary part of your number. And this actually is a really useful thing to know because let's see what happens if I multiply a complex number by its conjugate. So we find z multiplied by z star. Okay, so that's gonna be four minus two i multiplied by four plus two i. So we're gonna do multiply this the same way we did with the last example. So I'm gonna do four times four, which is 16. Four multiplied by two i, which is plus eight i. Uh, negative two i multiplied by four, which is negative eight i. And then finally, negative two i multiplied by two i. Well, that's going to give me negative 4i squared, which is the same as plus 4, okay? And so you can see the imaginary part has been cancelled out, and we're left with just 20. And so that's a really cool thing to have in maths that to be able to do. If we multiply a complex number by its conjugate, we remove the imaginary part, and we're left with just a real number. And so this becomes really useful when we want to divide complex numbers. So let's have a look at an example here where we've got two complex numbers again, z1 and z2, and we want to find z1 divided by z2. So that's going to be 2 plus 3i divided by 4 plus 5i, okay? And so to divide this, we just want to simplify it, okay? And to do that, we want to get rid of the imaginary part on the denominator. Just like when we're dealing with um, thirds and we want to rationalize the denominator, well, we want to get rid of the complex part. And so to do that, we could multiply by the conjugate of the denominator on the top and bottom, because that way we're just multiplying by one. And so that's going to give us four minus five i over four minus five i. And we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by that. So let's expand it and see what we get. So on the top, we're going to get four, uh, two multiplied by four, which is eight. Two multiplied by negative five i, which is negative 10 i. 3i multiplied by 4, which is going to be plus 12i. And finally, 3i multiplied by negative 5i, which is going to be plus 15. Okay, and then that's all going to be divided by 4 multiplied by 4, which is 16. And then we've got 4 multiplied by negative 5i, which is going to be negative uh, 20i. But then here, see, like the example above, we've got 5 multiplied by 4, which is positive 20i, so they cancel out. And then we've got 5i, uh, uh, 5i multiplied by negative 5i, which is going to give me plus 25. Okay, so let's sort of neaten this up, simplify it all. So we're going to get on the top 8 uh, plus 15, and then we're, over here we're going to get plus 2i. And on our denominator, we're going to get 16 plus 25, uh, which is going to be 41. I don't know why I didn't simplify the 8 and the 15 just now. So on the top, we're going to get 23 plus 2i 
over 41, okay? And so you can see now, if we wanted to, we could express this as a real part and a uh, imaginary part. So we've got, say, 23 over 41 plus two over 41 i. And so you can see we've removed the complex part uh, or our imaginary part from the denominator and we've simplified it and worked out what it is. So hopefully this was useful. If it was, subscribe, uh, like the video and share it and go and check out my channel for tons of other videos and thanks for watching.